Hi guys, you guys are my asynchronous group today, so thank you for watching this video. Um, now that you've watched the 101 lesson introduction and background, we're going to go over an example concept map or vocab map on the particular target word of elements. We're going to go through this example and then you are going to go on Google Classroom and open up the uh, vocab map that is posted under Tuesday and you're going to follow along with the second portion of this video to fill out a new uh, vocab vocab map on your own. So if we take a look at this concept map, you see we have the target word of elements. And how we know about elements based off of the context, remember this is maybe the definition, how we would use it in a sentence, what we can think about in relationship to this word. Elements are the building blocks of matter. So that is the definition of elements. So we can think of it as what it is and what it is not, or synonyms and antonyms. Those are vocab words we learned in the first trimester. So some elements, some examples of elements are hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, but it is not wood, water, metal, bird, person. Those are things, not elements, where elements make up what things are. And how we would find these words, what are the situations we would come into play when using this word is when we're talking in science, maybe physics, learning about compounds and substances, or maybe on the periodic table. And we can remember this word or connect it to the periodic table is a list of elements and everything I see in the world can be broken down into elements. So essentially, we took this vocab word of elements and we broke it down in all the ways that we can relate it to things and relate it not to other things and find connections to really understand what this word means. So right now, I want you to go to your Google Classroom and you'll notice that on week one hybrid under Tuesday concept mapping vocabulary, if you click on sign in Google accounts, it will take you to a Pear Deck that looks like this. So we are going to fill out this graphic organizer for one of the words in our stories. And we just went over what the word indignant means. So I think that would be a great word for us to start with. So take your text box, click on target word, and you're just going to type in a indignant. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. All right, so that is our target word, indignant. Now, we just went over the definition of indignant. This definition was angry in response to something perceived as wrong. That is the definition of indignant. Now, when we think of what it is, we might want to think of some synonym, synonyms, some like words, some similar words. And so I think indignant can be related to anger, injustice, mad. And those are just three examples that I could come up with. Now on your own, I want you to take a moment and come up with three examples of what it is not. So some antonyms. So come up with three antonyms on your own. I'm going to put this in red, so I'll be grading that box. So I'll give you a moment to do that. Feel free to pause the video if you would like some more time. Now let's talk about where we would find this word. Now, indignant is a word that we might use to describe someone. So this is in a, maybe an adjective, a descriptive word. So I'm going to put an adjective. This is a descriptive word. So we may use this to describe someone's reaction to something difficult. And I'm going to move this so you can see it better. So I want you to copy down what I have, make it a little smaller. And then on your own, you're going to tell me, based off of everything we did, how are you going to remember this word? 
how are you going to connect it to something in your life? So make a connection to remember what this word means. Maybe give me an example of when you think you were indignant or an example of someone else. Maybe connect it to a different word, a situation, and that is what you are going to do on your own. So in red are the things that you are going to do. And I'm just going to put a little highlight on the boxes that I'm grading. Okay. So take a moment, make sure that you filled out all the boxes we did together, and then on your own, fill out these two boxes. And then when you're done, you can just hit the turn in button. Thanks for listening, guys. And right now, you can read President Cleveland, Where Are You?, which is your third video today.